that do you recommend work if you're if you're just getting started in the industry or want to put your foot in the door do you start with the certification and use that knowledge as a baseline to get your first experience or does it make more sense to get your first experience and then upskill when you feel yourself like your your natural ability is sort of hitting the wall I love that question and reflection, Chris. I think there, there are two strategies, you know, for mm-hmm. candidates or for talents, you know, to do this. If I were to be a candidate who doesn't have a legal background, or assuming that, you know, a cybersecurity background or even HR or marketing, but I would like to get involved with uh, my first data privacy project, right? Mm-hmm. So I will invest my time to do a pro bono, you know, to, to offer myself to get involved with a small, small project for charity. Yeah. Yeah. Or for, you know, charity which has an app and they process personal data. And then you, when you start with a small project and at the same time, in parallel, sit the certification. And you could see the relevance, some of the principles, and also the, the project that you're involved, assuming that, you know, you will get that opportunity by a particular charity or, you know, by way of pro bono. So that there's, mm-hmm. there's one, you know, scenario that a candidate might want to actually explore. Another scenario is assuming that you are already in the, you know, compliance department or cybersecurity department or HR department or marketing department. Again, it depends on, you know, uh, the governance structure of your organization, yeah. whether it's centralized, decentralized or hybrid. It's good to actually think about data on a day-to-day basis when you perform, you know, your function. Even though it's monotonous, but there's always data risk there. So, and then get involved with certain, you know, data privacy, you know, activities, being a privacy mm-hmm. champion, you know, being a security champion, yeah. and then start to like link which certification might be relevant, you know, for you as part of your career progress. I would say that two lenses are actually like, I would say the tactical and the, uh, I would say strategic approach. And importantly, get that buy-in, you know, from your line manager, uh, yeah. get the buy-in from, you know, uh, the wider, you know, stakeholders to, to ensure that they really support, you know, the career growth and aspiration. But assuming that you are, you know, you are not attached to organization, but you are an entrepreneur or you are like a, you know, developer or you are a coder, there's no harm for you to start, like, you know, consider yeah. this application as well, because it's important because every single second we deal with data, and there's all this risk there, yeah. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get eBooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.